the chances of 300 children being kidnapped here in the U.S. is pretty rare. In fact, I don't know if we've ever heard of something like that here. But one child being kidnapped is one child too many. Joining us now is Lieutenant Paul Manning from the Pocatello Police Department about how you can educate your children about the dangers that are out there. Thank you so much for coming in today. Appreciate uh, being here. As we mentioned, a, a, a group kidnapping, probably pretty rare in our country. But this has happened on a, on a singular level, on an individual child. And so we just want to talk a little bit about what mom and dad can do to kind of uh, educate mom and dad, and they can educate their kids. What, what are some good ways that we can go about uh, getting our kids safe? <laughs> if I can talk about the toddlers first. Uh, the toddlers, they've gotten away from stranger danger. We taught that in the elementary schools for years. The thinking now is, is they're leaning more towards the trusted adult. Uh, studies have shown that even in a child's mind, uh, a police officer, a fireman, a paramedic is somebody they don't know, therefore they therefore interpret a that as a, a stranger. Okay. Mm -hmm. So they've, they've gone to the trusted adult. And we believe kind of in, in crisis rehearsal. Uh, if you're in a, a big box store with your child and everything is fine, just take a minute and stop everything and say, okay, son or daughter, if we got separated right now, what would you do? Hmm. Who would be a trusted adult? Well, it'd probably be the person wearing the vest. Mm -hmm. Does your child know where customer service is? Uh, teach your child not to go to fitting rooms, not to go to the parking lot, okay. not to go to the restrooms, but do they know where customer service is? Okay. Do they know where a, a check stand is? I've also heard you can tell them, you know, find a mom with children. Most likely a mom with children is going to be someone who could be a trusted adult too. If they can't, sometimes it's hard to find someone in the vest or someone who actually works there. So that might be an, another option as well. Yes, you have, you have to teach them the, the trusted adult mm -hmm. theory. So uh, we're talking to our kids. What are some other things that we can do as a mom and dad? Uh, I guess communication would be a key. Just have conversations. Uh, what about the, the let me say, the, the family password? Uh, we've heard of situations where somebody's in the park, kids playing in the park, stranger comes up to him and says, hey, your mom and dad uh, told me to come get you. They've been in, in a car accident, and I need to take you to go see them. Uh, is, that a, is that a legitimate thing where maybe a password say, hey, as a family, we need to have a password, and if they can't say the password, don't go with them. I don't see why not. Password could be something as simple as the, the family pet, mm -hmm. uh, something mm -hmm. like that. Primarily uh, communicating with your child and just teaching them their, their address, their phone number, but then you have to have that trusted yeah. adult part to go with it mm -hmm. to make sure that they're giving that personal information to the right person. Okay. Now, as your kids get older, <laughs> head into teenage years, even college <laughs> years, they're like, I am an adult now, and they think that they can do whatever they want. There are things that are smart to do even as our kids get older, right? Exactly. When they get into their teenage years, they think they're bulletproof. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, we encourage them to, to go in pairs, hmm. you know, even threesomes, foursomes, whatever. Just don't go anywhere by yourself. Use the common sense things of uh, not going alone, don't going out after dark. If you, if you go to one place, tell your parents you're going to that place. If you're going to leave that place and come back home or go to somewhere else, let your parents that know. That was always a rule in my house growing <laughs> up. That's exactly It's it. like filing a flight That's plan. That's right. And, you know, and even more important is when you get home, tell your parents when you get home. We've gone out on missing persons calls to find out <laughs> the kid oh, was in oh bed. No. Oh, no. The kid was in bed. The whole time. The whole time. Okay. Oh. And this, I think, goes into when you're in college, even as an adult, <laughs> these are, are good things to think about because, you know, things happen mm -hmm. to, to even college-age students. One thing we see is we see a lot of teenagers take what I call graduation trips. My uh -huh. own daughter yeah. took a trip back east with a friend, yeah. you know, and I'm, I'm the nervous father for, <laughs> you know, for several days. Right. And, you know, she's back there with a friend, and you don't know the people you're staying with, and you just have to assume that you taught them well, and they're using common yeah. sense. <laughs> and that conversation starts at an early age. Absolutely. All right, the sooner the better. Thank you so much for coming in today. Thank we you. appreciate it.